Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.36 Arjuna said, O Krishna, O descendant of Rishni, what is it that seems to forcibly impel a person to engage in sinful deeds, even though he is unwilling to do so? Sar Ardhavarshini Earlier in Gita 3.34 it was said, Raga dvijo vya vastito. Even a man of discrimination can develop attachment to sensual activities, such as the desire to enjoy another's wife, which are forbidden in scripture. In this connection, Arjuna asks this question beginning with the word atha. What is it? that impels a man to engage in sinful activities against his will, as if by force, even though he is well aware of the regulations and injunctions of the scriptures. In other words, who impels a person to desire to engage in sinful activities? Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti In this verse, Arjuna has addressed Sri Bhagavan, O Varshneya. Krishna appeared in the Vrishni dynasty of Arjuna's maternal grandfather and grandmother. Shura Sena was also born in the same Vrishni dynasty. His son was Vasudeva, Krishna's father, and his daughter, Prita, was Arjuna's mother. The hidden indication in Arjuna's prayer to Krishna is, Since I belong to the same dynasty as you, you should not neglect me. At present, I have fallen into a pit of doubts. You have just said that the soul, Atma, is completely distinct from inert qualities or mundane relationships. Gita 2.13-31 Who then, impels the jivas to engage in sinful acts, if such action is not their constitutional nature.